Hi everyone, welcome to another video on the strangeness of sharks. Now, I did get a request, which I'll put somewhere on the screen, here, I guess, um, to talk about my favourite examples of conversion evolution. And I think that will be a really, really good topic for a general video in my Nature's Tale series. But I have quite a queue of requests now, so I thought instead it'd be good to do a video specifically on convergent evolution in sharks. So that is what today's video is going to be on. So let's start with the basics. What is convergent evolution? Convergent evolution is when similar traits evolve in different species, however that trait was not present in their last common ancestor. The last common ancestor being the last organism in their evolutionary history that both of those species descended from. There are many examples of convergent evolution seen throughout the world and throughout history. One of the most frequently used examples is the evolution of flight. Birds, bats and pterosaurs all have or had the ability to fly, however it was not present in their last common ancestor. The flight mechanisms are similar, however they all have different anatomical structure to their wings. The ability to fly evolved independently in each of these groups, so it's a really good example of convergent evolution. For this video though, I am going to be focusing on convergent evolution as seen in sharks. Locomotion is incredibly energetically expensive for organisms, so often they will evolve a behaviour or a morphological trait which will reduce those costs for them. These sorts of traits are therefore the most commonly seen examples of convergent evolution in sharks and other marine species. Undulating flight is when an animal will move when it is rising, but then glide down when it is descending. Although it is called undulating flight, it's also seen in water, and it's a type of swimming strategy that animals such as pinnipeds use, which is the taxonomic group for seals, sea lions and walruses, but it's also seen in sharks as well. When comparing the acceleration patterns and muscle use of fur seals and whale sharks, scientists noticed that there were a lot of similarities. Both species rely on the rear end of their body to generate momentum and they also have similar rates of climbing and sinking in the water. Despite the large separation between these species, this sort of swim behaviour evolved in both to reduce energetic costs for locomotion as well as increase muscle efficiency, making it a pretty good example of convergent evolution seen in sharks. Laminid sharks, also known as mackerel sharks, share a lot of similarities to tuna. Both of these taxonomic groups are predominantly predatory, so being able to swim efficiently and fast is very important for them to hunt well. There are therefore quite a few similarities and a few examples of convergent evolution seen between between these two groups. These include their body shape, their swimming technique, their muscle function and their temperature regulation. Both laminid sharks and tuners have very streamlined bodies which allow them to move through the water with more efficiency and less resistance. If you look at the salmon shark and the Atlantic bluefin tuna, you'll notice that they have a really similar body shape. They have a pointed face, a thin rear end to the body and a large caudal fin. Combine this body shape with their funny form swimming, which is swimming using only the caudal fin, and their energy waste is reduced whilst propulsion is increased. Another trait that many tuna and laminid sharks have in common is something known as regional endothermy. Now this is particularly strange because most fish are ectothermic, meaning that they have few internal sources to control their body heat, and mainly their body temperature relies on the external environment. For laminid sharks and tuna, however, they are able to use a countercurrent system to regulate their body temperature to a temperature temperature warmer than their surrounding environment. They accomplish this by retaining metabolic heat and then using that to heat other parts of their body, such as their muscles. Despite over 400 million years since their last common ancestor, laminid sharks and tuna share a great deal of similar morphological traits and behaviours, and it's a great example of how similar selection pressures can impact an organism's evolution. Although these are only a couple of examples, I think it shows how marine organisms have adapted to life underwater in similar ways. Sharks evolved before trees did, which is really crazy to think about, so it's amazing that this ancient lineage convergently evolved so many traits with so many distantly related species. Thank you all for watching this video, I really appreciate your support as always. If you want to learn more, I've listed some of the papers I've used down in the description as usual. And if you have any questions, comments or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comments for me too. I've had some amazing engagement with my videos recently, so I'm really grateful for all your support and all the interest that you're showing in what I discuss. So thank you again for checking out my videos and don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to learn more.